we're going to listen to <laughs> we're going to listen to Aretha Franklin instead of people making a tribute build up and let down that's all I do such a tease Unfortunately, tonight, his doctors have advised him to give that sore throat a rest. So here's the story of what's going on here. Ooh, Martina McBride, so good. <laughs> tantric, tantric reaction, tantric reaction, yeah. So in this, at this time, I guess it's 1998, Pavarotti was going to sing uh, Nessun Dorma, but he had to take the night off. And guess who sang it instead? Kind of already said it, but. The selection he was going to perform was Nessun Dorma. Two nights ago at Music Cares, another legendary voice performed that same song, one you might not expect. She has agreed to step in for a friend, Luciano, literally at a moment's notice. Ladies and gentlemen, Aretha Franklin. Mind you, non-operatic singer, you know, amazing talent, right? Steps in to sing like an opera aria on literally a last minute notice this is no joke she's like i know the melody i know how this goes <laughs> oh she's amazing this is gonna be great Did she know it before? I have absolutely no way of knowing. I'm sure she knew the melody. She may have been there for the rehearsal. It's in Italian, yes. Yes, <laughs> It is amazing. It's so amazing. If anyone's offended by this, they're not like, get out of here. Dude, if I, I probably know so many people who would just not dislike this, but man, it's, it's all, it's almost an honor. More people have listened to her singing than have ever heard opera in the, in the world. Like it's, if anything, she's like doing us a favor, man, bringing that awesome stylism, that heart and that soul. Hmm. My secret lies And what his name is None shall know None, none Till on thy heart I confess it Soon as more Mean lies did she see that? Wait, was that in English? Or other spaces? I confess it soon as morning lies shall She just, you know, she knows the melody. She probably heard it. She heard it once, picked it up, or whatever. Maybe she heard it a lot. Um, I think opera melodies are way more common in people's ears 20, 30 years ago. Um, but now now it's like, 
<laughs> oh. Some people are here. Um, And then she, she knows that she read the English words or whatever. She learned the Italian words. She learned the English words. Just doing it on the melody, whatever, making it work. It's so sick. I mean, that's what a true vocal artist does. I doubt so, oh, Raptor. Prince, then share my kisses, break the silence. Actually, no, he probably did. Let me be mine. So a lot of people might disagree with me, but I think Pavarotti was one of the greatest crossover opera singers. Not by definition of, like, crossover means you can do multiple techniques, because he never really sang outside of his operatic technique, but... He stayed true to that technique and then did so many songs of different styles, right? So easy. Tramon Tate. Luciano, I know you're at home cheering Aretha, cheering quietly, but cheering nonetheless. On behalf of the Recording Academy, it gives me great pleasure to present you with this year's Grammy Living Legend Award in absentia. I know you've promised to be here next year to accept the award. Living is the perfect word for you, Luciano, for not only do you possess one of the greatest voices ever, but your spirit and zest for life is singular. You give your all and each and every time you walk on stage. And speaking personally, there's no greater thrill on earth for me than to be in the audience witnessing a Pavarotti performance. And I know I'll be doing so again very soon. There's no one more deserving of this honor than you. And the entire world is a better place because we are fortunate enough to share it with you. I'm taking this home and keeping it until I see you or until I become a living legend. I think I'll be seeing you first. Congratulations, ciao, Luciano. Viva Pavarotti! No! Oh. That's so sweet. Oh, whoops. No, I'll turn that off. No, no, no. Guys, wait. So, so it was a, he was supposed to sing it when he accepted his award. But she sang it for him as tribute to him. I didn't know that. I just knew about this concert that he couldn't sing, but it was an award show, and she sang it as, what a selfless human being. And that beauty shines through. It's that humbleness that, that you mentioned, Becca. Like, wow. It's so true. Hey, you're still here. I hope you enjoyed that look into what we do on Twitch to celebrate great singers. 
You know, I owe you a huge thank you for being a part of this awesome community and letting me share my love of singing with you guys. The growth on this channel has been absolutely immense. And while I can't read every single comment requesting reactions, here's what you can do to get your favorite songs featured on the channel. You've got three options. One is to join the Twitch stream Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. When you've logged into Twitch and are watching the live stream, you can type exclamation point react, followed by the URL of your requested video. This adds your song to the queue that we work through during live streams. Alternatively, if you're really in a rush to get me to react to your song, you can head to my tipping page in the description down below and request a song with a tip of $4 or more to get it seen ahead of all the non-tipped requests. Don't worry, I make sure that every dollar gets put towards improving the channel's content and the community. The third way to get your request up on the channel is to join my Patreon. A patron of any tier level can request a song and get it reacted to that month, guaranteed. There are tons of other fun perks too, so I hope you check it out anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope you feel closer to the human voice and the artists you love, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Ciao. Tip turquoise. <laughs> you. Are you so cute? Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so cute.